Hello and welcome to Point Peter, located inside the beautiful Prince Edward County on the shores of Lake Ontario. My name is Ashley McIsaac. Today this area is a provincial wildlife park. Birds chirping, water washing up on shore, and the sounds of a passing boat in the distance is all you'll hear around this peaceful property anymore. But it wasn't always so tranquil at Point Peter. Back in the 1950s, seemingly overnight, this small piece of land became a major testing site for CARD, the Canadian Armament Research and Development Establishment. And from 1951 to 1957, the skies above Prince Edward County were lit up by state-of-the-art missiles and technically advanced rockets being launched from right over there and into Lake Ontario behind me. Starting with the infamous Velvet Glove air-to-air -air guidance missile program and concluding with the launching of nine free-flight test models attached to Nike booster rockets. Because no prototypes were ever built for the Avro Aero and time was of the essence, the tests done here went to production design right away and then directly into the supersonic interceptor jet before its rollout and introduction to the world in October of 1957. My launch of the E2R13 rocket on November 11, 2010 and this short documentary honors all the Canadians of the Avro Aero and related programs. However, specifically the ones who served at Point Peter. Their lasting memory is deserved no less than any other man or woman who had the privilege of being a part of this extraordinary aircraft. And finally, all of this wouldn't have been possible, or even taken place for that matter, if it had not been for our military. This is the reason we launched the E2R13 on Remembrance Day at the old CFB base just down the road from here. The E2R13 rocket launch paid a unique tribute to all of our soldiers in the armed forces, while honoring the employees of AV Row and related projects from the 1950s. When the E2R13 cracked the skies above Prince Edward County, it left a smoke trail seen by local residents from miles away. In Picton, an older man was enjoying the afternoon on his balcony at the time of the launch. Seconds after liftoff, he looked up and seen the E2R13 track across the sky. The gentleman later told a neighbor, when I seen that rocket flying overhead, I could have sworn it was 1955 again. I'm Ashton McIsaac signing off from Point Peter, Ontario. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the following documentary, A2R13 Rocket Launch, uh, Honor the Alvaro Aero in Picton. The A2R13 rocket was launched from the old Canadian Forces base perched on Lake on the Mountain, overlooking Picton in Prince Edward County, Ontario. This military installation served the Royal Air Force, the Royal Canadian Air Force and the Canadian Army during the Second World War and up to its closure in 1969. The airfield on this high plateau was perfect for the Royal Air Force's No. 31 Bombing and Gunnery School when it opened in 1941. The school was part of the British Commonwealth Air Training Plan, created before the end of World War II by several ally countries including the UK and Canada. The purpose was to properly train air crew and before too long the air training plan became the largest in history. To this day, it remains the most extensive program of its kind ever undertaken. Today, the old base is privately owned and renamed the Loxloy Business Park. However, most of the original buildings and hangars remain intact, while the airstrips are still being used on occasion for private glider and small aircraft landings. With Point Peter only a few kilometers down the road from here, you can imagine how active this area was with military personnel back in the early 1950s. My launch on November 11th, if only for a moment, remembered those times when the world, especially Prince Edward County, was a much different place to live. Walking into this area is like stepping back in time. This is why the A2R13 rocket, including the launch pad, were carefully painted to give it an appearance consistent with the age of the base. The A2R13 high-powered model rocket weighs 0.8125 pounds or 368.54 grams. The composite propellant weighed 59 grams before burnout. The mighty solid fuel engine with a powerful GE propulsion was built by Aerotech in the United States before the turn of the century. Only proper storage at ideal room temperatures for over a decade made the November 11th launch even possible. Thanks for joining me for part one of A2R13 rocket launch in honor of the Avro Aero and Picton. Subscribe to my channel so you won't miss part two next Saturday. In the meantime, tune in to the Art Kickstart channel and check out some episodes of Rocket Talk.